pick it up. All right. I think you guys are all set. Thank you, Frank. Okay. Yeah, thanks for coming down. I'm going to be over there for the next five minutes. So yep. I'm just knocking on the door if you need help. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do we have a quorum? How many people? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Five people. All right, and um, soon as Phil gets here, because Rick said he's going to have to leave. Oh, my pages are down. That's a short agenda. We can go through it very quickly. Yeah. So I decided to tell you. Yeah. Um, well, I won't get into it now. But the machine is going, but uh, he will not be joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, I. Let's show now. Great. Okay. All right. We just wrote a book on medical so uh, um, we're running a tad late, but uh, good afternoon. Welcome to the Roads and Rightaways Committee for May 16th, 2023. The open meeting of the Roads and Rightaways Committee being conducted remotely as well as in person, uh, remotely via Zoom. Uh, this meeting is being recorded and all attendees are participating. Um, need to be aware that the meeting is being recorded. Uh, because we are in a hybrid situation, the chair will conduct roll call for all attendance and all votes. Uh, currently, we only have members on, but if we have some in the public, they'll be asked to identify themselves. Um, and we will do a roll call now. Alan uh, Ryan. Bill, Bill, for yep. the purpose of the recording, could you say what time we started? Uh, sure. We started at 4.06 p.m. Uh, so, uh, roll call attendance Lee Saperstein. Here. Rick Atherton. Here. Bill Smith. Here. Ed Gillum. Here. And Bill Greeter. Alan Reinhardt. Oh, and Alan Reinhardt. Here. Here's you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and he's not even on Zoom when you missed him. Well, we're sitting by height in the room. and <laughs> I can't tell that. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so uh, thank you, Aaron, for coming in. Uh, we have a quite short agenda. Um, and uh, of course, I've left mine someplace. Can I buy your agenda? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Um, first is the approval of minutes for April 18th. Uh, if there, are there any uh, corrections, changes, omissions? Motion to approve. Uh, motion to approve as submitted by Alan, seconded by Ed. Uh, and uh, my cheat sheet that I use. All in favor by roll call, Alan Reinhardt. Aye. Lee Saperstein. Aye. Rick Atherton. Aye. Bill Smith. Aye. Ed Gillum. Aye. Chair says aye. Um, unfortunately, uh, Ken Bogran cannot be with us today. Um, and, uh, so we will, um, put that, uh, on, that item on hold, which was, uh, as far as details on 18 and 51 through 55 Nova Vidir Ave, as far as an answer from the town on the status, um, an update. Uh, Before we leave that, yeah. well, I'll just add a note or two, because I did go, um, Right. The GIS website. 18 Nova Deer is alongside the paper road known as Woodbine. And I think we marked what we did. But what we marked was the way from Nonantum non down to the water. Right. But it, uh, the GIS shows a walking trail through there. And if there is blockage or an encroachment, then is the right person to notify 
Right. So on that note, uh, let me see if I have one. I received a call today from uh, my call for that thing. I will tell you in a second who it was. All right. Thank you, Frank. Have a good day. Um, I received a call from Christine Petrola, uh, who uh, is a neighbor out there, and she's the one that brought it to our attention to begin with. Uh, Bill, can you fill the last one? Uh, yes, I can. It is T E T. R E L L A. Um, she reported today that uh, it appears that the path uh, has been um, carved out when they redid the lot, um, but it's not finished yet. So unsure if it's if it's squared away. She did note that it is not marked from uh, nobody arrived. Nor please, we know that. Right. Um, so she was. She said she was unsure um, if they were going to do that or not. She was. She said she'd get back to us, but I said we'd check it anyway. But too. Well, we're the ones in charge of marking. Oh yeah, but I'm just as far as I didn't know if if they had uh, made arrangements with uh, the town since they know we're uh, uh, units are anyway. But anyway, so that's the status of that one, Ed. And the the other one. Um... Is not cut through either, except for partially into a driveway. Um, but it leads kind of to nowhere. What's that? Uh, that's the other one that's on the water side. 51 to 55? Right. So, yeah, I went out and looked at that, and you can see the, the very old, old bound. Right. And um, I believe that goes from Nobodia to the bluff. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, right. the beach. But you right. can't so get it, over the wall. It was never cut that I could see. Or if it has, it was many years ago. Now, um, when you say old town, um, it's old enough that it says. Describe it. Please. I'm going to. It's old enough that it says public on it. Um, it's the very old concrete, and it has the round emblem. You see original up at the see. top. It has a piece of. Um, and it has a piece of surveyor's tape. Yeah, that was put on a couple of years ago. Yeah. So right. you, you you notice it if you pull up. Which, what's the name of the one? It's on off of nobody yet. But right next to between 51 and 55, and it's so right by the driveway. What is the name of the way down to the board? Which is that I can't remember. It's not on the GIS. I don't know. I will. I uh, on the GIS. I'm there. It doesn't have a name, guys. I know, <laughs> Rick. I, yeah. Um, okay. I thought that's what you were asking. Sorry. But the um the property right to the east of it uh, just sold recently. It was subdivided um, by the Anglin family, and it was sold to a part a party. The piece said uh, it's a little bit of a complicated piece it's not just as rectangle or something like that because of septic involved and things like that but the um i will try to bring up a survey plan of that sale and they'll probably have the road marked so i'll have at our next meeting the name of the road and, and, and uh, which uh company is sold um you can mark that well, i think he's talking are you talking about 55 ed it, it would be uh the one that sold is uh Where, uh it would be 50 right, right. it would be 55 yes yeah it would be a portion of 55 they actually subdivided it in half right well not really in half but they it, it's been subdivided let's put it that way that's and it's a cottage there's there's a building envelope and all that so there would have been a definite survey so the road would have showed up as a name and i i don't know the name of it right off without pulling that survey um, um it, it's not unknown that it's U N N A M E T, as in a name. A name. I is don't. What happens when you try and pull these up? I think it might have a name actually. Though. Okay. So that I just, I just, I don't, I don't re recall the name okay. as okay. what I'm going. The uh, as does the ones down on the beach have names. So, Bill, the reason I asked about the town, mm -hmm. uh, technically speaking, the town is the. Bit of concrete post in the ground with a 
point in the yeah, middle. No, I understand that. Uh, and so what you're describing is a public way. Uh, Absolutely. Marker. It's a more right. thing. It's, right. it's a vertical. It says public. Yeah. yeah. And a, now, just not the town bank. used to use those brass inserts as the marker for the bound, but mm -hmm. turn it this way up, then the plumb block goes right into the middle. Yeah. At that, that point in the middle. So it's well, they just must have had a, a a drawer full of them and they they put them into that. It um and it's uh, like Alan I think went out and, and discovered it a couple of years ago or mocked it a couple of years ago. Um, I don't and, think it's in our. Um, I didn't see it on any list anywhere. No, I don't think it might it be a? Uh, we might have to consult the one big beach because there are a lot of those. Some of those were in the negotiation yeah. were were even though they're marked. Uh, and they're bound. They, they're they're marked by the um, public way. It doesn't necessarily mean today they are a public way. So I'm thinking it's Irving Street. Does that ring a bell for you? Irving's could, next door. Could be er, nearby. Uh, Irving's across the street. So this is the way. Bill, is this a good time to mention the one big beach just down the way? Yep, go right ahead. Well, I, I, you know, in my uh recollection because i looked at 51 and the middleton name i remember from my days on the select board oh, no, just... i don't remember specifically what happened but i know that two lots to the uh west of 51 both have one big beach easements and i have a copy of that document um Alan, you may remember, but I, I don't know if you were still on the board then. That was about 212, 2012, um, when that one was finally accepted. And, and I suspect, but I don't know why, we wouldn't have one big beaches on 51 and 55. Um, but I don't happen to have that in my files. Uh, usually, they're supposed to be recorded on the deed site. But they're not always there. It's kind of a right this one. You can't access the beach. You go look at it, but you couldn't access the beach because it's it's too steep there without steps. Oh, yeah. So this is a tough one, unlike some of the other ones. Okay. So the answer is check the deed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to I'll do that. I'll try to There's a one beach easement there. Uh, as part of that program, the DPW was to maintain the footpath or whatever they, you know, retained down there. And it also gives them the ability to put a set of steps at the end of that because not only did they take the way, but all the way down to the beach and whatever the width that the way was. So right. once you get to uh, the beach. But they still have to go through all the concom to do that, correct? To put the stairs in. Right. Let's just hope that uh, the, the who's building down there is going to be responsive and say, "Oh yeah, we want the public to come back." <laughs> yeah. Well, they actually they actually the they actually share steps with somebody else. I think on the property. Yeah. The property. Okay. So we we agreed that there is an old public way monument at that unnamed way. And um, there is a thought that one of the lots through there, it may be 55 or it may be a smaller number, uh, has got one big beach easement. And Lee says that he'll go online and see what he can find. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Bill, do you want to send that document to everybody? I think yeah, it might be, be helpful at, in due course. Yeah. So, okay. uh, Rick sent along a document that I'll send out to everyone. It's the Grant of easement for 47 and 49. Oh, okay. So um, I will send that out and uh, give it to you, Lee, on a soft copy so you can uh, have it for the minutes. Um, the other uh, the other one was. Uh, I think we dealt with any change. Yeah, the, with Christina, right. And so uh, the other two queries um, came from the neighbors, um, and they're just in a holding pattern to see what happens um, with that. They're, they're afraid that uh, now that they've 
they've noticed it, but they would like to have it opened up. Yeah. So. I remember Surfside is where the Surfside 6, the initial program that really uh, got the town involved in taking these away. Right. Not just there, but Albert Avenue, Stone Speech, et cetera. I mean, and we, we may be able to, uh, 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 Christina, that called uh, moment today, her husband is now a member of the Wisconsin uh, Area Association. So, first time. Surfside. Did I say Wisconsin? Surfside. Um, so anyway, we may uh, be able to get some more info from some neighbors that way. All right. Uh, thank you. And then. Uh, Could I just ask a clarifying question, Bill? Yeah. Um, I, I I didn't hear quite correctly. When, when we have number 18 on the agenda, um, was that the site of the uh, issue or was the issue Woodbine going to the water? I just want to be sure I understand. It's two. 18, uh, there was a path that was in 18 uh, and evidently when, from what I understand, when the party went to get the permits and stuff, um, there was a, like all of them, it was a meandering path and it needed to be relocated or straightened out. And uh, there was concern of some folks out there that it uh, was being lost. Um, and uh, previously we had heard from, uh, Nat was here and he said, oh, there's something being worked out and it's gonna be all squared away. And the folks wanted to make sure that it was squared away and didn't get lost in the shuffle. Right, and, and just so I'm clear, we're talking about 18, no Nantum? No, no Badir, uh, Rick. 18 No Badir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the, the funny thing is the way the numbers go there, you go from, from 18 to 51, 55 in the you know drop of a uh, a drop of a hat there is they're quite yeah. close. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, so so Rick again, um, and this will be in the minutes. The way is Woodbine Street, and against 18 Nobadir, it's a paper uh, paper way. From Nonantum to the beach, it's actually marked. Great. Okay. Thank you. I think the other one might be marked at some point as well, further up from the off of the way. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. find anything uh, to the north. Oh, really? Yeah. I think they might have moved the thing during the. In the yeah, uh, to construct so much, but yeah. I scan. So the other question that came in for Access Point was uh, Halvard Avenue, and uh, I sent that out, and um, it was uh, 49 Halvard Avenue, oh. uh, and Ed did some research on it, and you want to talk about that? It was brought to our Sorry, attention. To look up the survey, but I can, yeah. Yeah. it was brought to our attention that. Uh, it, it was a public way that had been blocked off with a, a fence and a gate. Um, and so uh, Ed recognized the property uh, as he had some dealings with it. He did a bit of research on it and he's going to bring us up to date. What, what's the, um... the, the... The address on this is uh, was between 49 and 51 Hullabird Ave. What's the cross street? The letter? There's not a cross street. You'll, you'll, hear the, you'll, you'll hear the reason in a minute. They're, she's, they're confusing a public way. There's no, there's no cross street. So where is it say in relation to there's Willard, Henry? Well, it's, it's closer to Jetty's from Henry, but there's not a way. It's, it, it's this right here. It's this property right here. And Henry's here. And, and she's, there's a gate right here. Okay, these the people at 49 own two parcels. They own parcel of houses on and this other sliver as well it's all part of the same parcel the gate is because there is a path to the water there which i i guess people have been using um but the reason the gate is a uh, path is there and the gate has been put up is there is in the deed um the people that i believe at 48 or across the street someone has rights in the path there's a number of those 
has a right, they have rights in the path, but only that one party, not anyone else. But I, I take it that people have probably been just using it. So now they put a gate up, a fence with a gate uh, that clearly allows a person across the street to open the gate and walk to the beach. Um, but it's not a public way. Um, and there's there's other things in it, like the vegetation has to be cut to a certain height and you know can't block the guy's view across the street, all that kind of stuff. But, but in other words, the person's mistaking something, they've probably been using a path to the beach that's never been a public way. Have all kinds of so, so I think that's the that's the end result. There is a there is one in Henry Street. Well, two properties yeah, over. I was just down there, and the reason I ask is because um, I'm familiar with all the ways. Oh, there. Yeah. James Street is the one that goes between um, Blue Waters, where the tennis court is, and so on. Well, that's the one they had the big thing in the driveway, in the driveway and they had to give it one big beach. Let's, let's not go there because that's not the issue. Yeah, but Johnson's uh, the one of the sort of opposite Johnson Street, or in the in the relation to Johnson Street, uh, it's got plantings on both sides. Right. It's about a five foot wide path. Right. Plantings on both sides, and that's the one that I don't believe the town did take. Oh. So anyway, that that's the thing I'm not clear about. They did take James Street, which yeah. of course means you have to get over that. Um, Right, and that was when the lawyer came to our meeting, and all Steve Cohen came to the meeting, and all that. But, but Henry Street is very clearly taken, and Henry is literally between forty-five and forty-seven, and we're talking about forty-nine and fifty-one. So it's like it's just the person who doesn't think she can walk the path anymore can just walk one over and walk across the beach. Okay, I'm never yeah. sure what number is certain. Right, no, I, I, that's what I'm got the map yeah. here. I think, yeah, yeah. Who is the owner of that house? Uh, it, it's in an LLC, and I know the owner, but I don't think I should be publicly cut saying who the owner is. So, but. You know, if, if it's not an issue, um, complicated, but still not an issue because the, uh, there were a number of waterfront properties that had deeded rights to others in that subdivision. Right. Um, so the interesting thing is. In this case, it's only one property that has um, the right or the reason, and that's the one dead across the street. It might have been because of that. It, uh, I don't know the, the total history of it, but it might have been the fact that this is actually the property is actually two parcels. So it must it might have been something on this one parcel way back when, you know, that mm -hmm. gave them the rights. But but that's the, the end result is that. Uh, the and, property of 51 just sold as well. And, recently. And Alan and I will um, tell you that we had any number of presentations from people who said, but we always walk to the water on that. So, yeah, but you can trespass it. Right. Unfortunately, that would that would be the situation here as well. Yeah. Um, so I will get back to the lady that sent us. A, just tell her it's not a public yeah. way, except for someone across the street who has rights in it. Um, so any more? Uh, on those right away actors stuff. Maybe you have anything. I was trying to get the map up for the um, GI for the one at over there, but I can't do it quick enough. All right, that's okay. Well, we can. Yeah, we yeah. can just follow up next I'll week. Follow up next yeah. month. Yeah. Um, can I borrow your agenda again? Right. Oh, sorry. Um, concept bluff walk signage. A um, little background on that. Uh, just to revisit the uh, Wisconsin Civic Association came to us about uh, the signage. Um, they were concerned about that. Uh, several of us have gone out and looked at it. We had a, a subcommittee of Nat, Ed, and Alan uh, look into it um, to look into the current situation, including signage. Um, and so we've really uh, broken it off into two different pieces. One is um, the path itself and any sort of encroachment or um, uh, physical situations there. And the other thing was the signage. Um, so we we, we uh, talked with uh, um, Lynn Philip, Philipski, who uh, represented the Wisconsin Civic Association, and um, they were presenting some uh, updated verbiage. Uh, 
during the course of our discussion, um, it was reiterated that uh, everything's got to go in front of the, uh, the sign uh, review committee. And um, uh, uh, Rick? I'm going I'm to jump. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Rick. Bye-bye. So, uh, uh, so I go back to Lynn uh, with a message to just make her aware of that. Um, and we had some discussion about um, uh, the process. And so I suggested that, uh, and, and also I reached, we reached out and uh, um, Billy Sad from the plus department um, got a hold of me and said they would put it on their agenda. And they did. And then Alan went, and I don't know if anybody else went with you. So who, it, who attended the meeting? I, I, Alan and, uh, attended. I couldn't attend. I had a. She did not go. No, she was there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. She she was there. In fact, she, um, I didn't really have any opportunity to speak because the signing committee wanted to hear what Lynn had to say. Okay. And so Lynn was talking about what she wanted on the sign and the sort of thing. So the end result of that was that the sign committee said to Lynn Belutsky that uh, she had to come back to the sign for the committee with a proposal of what she's looking for. Uh, the size of the sign, uh, the wording on the sign, whatever it is that she would like to see on there. And so they that was the last item on the agenda. So they adjourned and she would be at attending their next meeting, whatever that is. Okay. So when, when, when did you meet? I don't know. Right I can tell him where he met. We met on the, uh, I have it here because I couldn't attend, unfortunately. The sign committee meeting was on. Tuesday the night. To, to, yeah. Tuesday the night. And, we had time and, and just for the detail take, uh, after she met with us, meaning Lynn, uh, she did a follow-up message and just said um, she was unsure you know, who should apply. Um, and uh, she reiterated that um, that the original signage that's there, the Sunset uh, Civic Association did the entire application, asked for a waiver because it was on town property and it was presented uh, at the time to the Sign Advisory Council by Rob McNeil. Um, so after the meeting that you just attended and talked about, she followed up with a message saying that in general, the Civic Association would be happy to do the paperwork on the new signage, or two signs I think they're mm -hmm. looking for, and applying to the Sign Advisory Committee. Um, and uh, her, her additional comment was since they don't own the property, but it was given to the proprietors and then transferred to the town. Um, she didn't think there'd be any fee rendered, um, but she was, wasn't was sure of that. Um, and that she would be happy to show it with us. And my response to her was, um, you know, I, I believe our, our comments would be that um, it would be appropriate for them to apply uh, because after reviewing the subject, um, we understood that there was a, um, they liked the verbiage upgraded, and that's really, you know, um, outside of our realm. It has to go in front of the sign advisory committee. Um, but if she wanted to come in before they presented it, so we could look at it and see if we had any comments or whatever. And, and uh, but it, it wasn't necessary to do that. And um, you know, I would support. Uh, I believe. You know, it is town property, so um, one would think that that fee gets waived. One of the ironic things is that as one of the members of the service of sponsored association who donated the, the signs that are still there, um, he hired, um, oh, what's your name? Anyway, he hired someone to create those signs with the poem on it. And he paid for. Who was that? Do you remember? Um, it may have been um, Hostet. Yeah, Amos Hostet. Oh, it was Amos. Okay. Yeah, Amos yeah. is the one who paid for it and sort of arranged with um, the woman who used to be married to uh, 
no. <laughs> oh, Joe Smith used to live in that house. Yeah. yeah. Now, look, at the time I was looking for a mine in um, far distant West Virginia, and I was told to turn right where the white barn used to be. The effort. Well, there are deeds here that say 100 feet from a certain rock that doesn't exist anymore in the deed. <laughs> well, Frank uh, took Lee and I out on the Middle Moors, Frank um, Morgan Colgate, because he had found a number of rocks that were in the, these really old maps that he had when they were doing the layout of the different um, the different setoffs and that sort All of thing. Right, the, the sheep commons and stuff like that, right? Huh. He, no, they weren't just a rock. Somebody had actually drilled a hole in the right. Exactly. Like to, to mark the point. Exactly. And I looked at Frank and I said, how accurate are these? They said, well, they were certainly not licensed professional land surveyors, but they were almost all mariners, and they were pretty good at, at finding their way. Wow. Good. So um, anyway, that's the update on Surfside. And uh, if, um, if we can backtrack just yeah. a second, I will show you. Um, I just took a picture of uh, the survey of the property we were talking about 51 55. 51 and so i i can i can send this to you lee okay but this is what we're looking at here if people want to okay. pass it around if you want to see i it does not have the name of the road there is a name i don't know but you see the no nantum's in the front that's on the beach no nantum actually picks up again on the beach there um Okay, so this but you see to you see the road uh, uh, right off of nobody and you see how it comes in. It doesn't show how the property split up, but it just shows you the Anglin survey of of um, 55 nobody here. Lot area of 50,000 square feet. So it's certainly um, if it's R20. Right. Or, it's it's certainly dividable. As long as you can do the septic, it's got a shared septic now. However, <laughs> the house looks like it's dead set in the middle of it. They talking about knocking it down or moving. No, it? there's one piece that's going. It's it's a, it it looks like a key, the lock, and there's two building envelopes on it with concom, and it's a, it's a little bit, and, and there's a septic, a moved septic, and all sorts of stuff. It's a complicated deal. Okay, the way is simply marked as um, a town way, but the town it, of Nantucket. Trying to read. But that's where the that's where that monument is. It's it's for that way that I think they're kind of partially using as a driveway and partially it's grown over. So I don't know. Of course, they during the seventies when they were putting those concrete monuments in, they weren't always um, really careful about where they were. Well, some of them were along the line of where they put telephone poles in later on for the telephone exactly. for the um, the poles to go yeah. down. Toward the beach, and the longer stretches toward the beach, not this short little thing here. This yeah. is getting this one's right the... next to the pole and right next to Comcast. And, and it's getting very close to um it's getting very close to nobody beach itself. Yeah. You know, so yeah. yeah. So you if you could you could there. send that around, that'd be great. Well, we, we, yeah, I'll forward that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll forward it okay, to me and to you yeah. and I'll let you do the okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Really. All right. right. So um are we set to move on with that? Any yeah. questions? All right. Um, any old or new business? Anybody have? We? I'd simply like to revive Nantucket Railway as something that we work on a little more aggressively than um, having it down at the bottom of the list. I think I, I, I would second that motion. I'd like to see that myself. It would appear we have the time to work on it. Um, I'm not quite sure where I would reach out, but uh, the historic association would be one. And we now have a transportation management, transportation program manager, and you might be another uh, to help us. I, I can add to that the land bank owns the stretch from Surfside Road all the way down to the beach. And they've cleared a trail. Uh, as you go in, oh, shit, I forget what they're called. Right around Sherburn Commons, as you make that left hand turn on the opposite side of where Sherburn Commons is. 
uh, Blueberry Lane. Okay, now you said Surfside Road. Yeah, Surfside Road. Oh, one. Okay, yeah. And then um, it's um, Durban is on, not Old South, it's on, it's on um, Shore. Shore. Yeah. Or, yeah. South Shore, South Shore. So as you go down South Shore, if you make a left down Blueberry Lane, that's where we started to cut the path. We were going to cut it all the way from Surfside Road, but we had... Uh, it cut, and it cuts across road. South Shore Road. Is that where it cuts? Because it doesn't it come in off Surfside at an angle and then go that yeah. way? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we had a complaint from the neighbors on the Goodlands. So, La Gladlands. Goodlands? Gladlands. Gladlands, that's good. Uh, the people, the residents, when they came into the land bank and said, oh, no, you can't do that. And we said, well, yes, we can, but, you know, at that point, though, um, we didn't have anything in beyond that. So what we have currently is the trail as you go down Blueberry Lane to the end. There's a bunch of junk down there on that last property. But as you go into the woods there, you'll clearly see the trail. Oh, really? And that trail goes all the way out to the beach. Ah, huh, didn't know that. Um, and that was a railway trail that went... Yeah, no, right. The railroad went um, down Hooper Farm Road. It's complicated. <laughs> that was the first route to Surfside and the Surfside Hotel. Right, where Curb Street and all that was and all right. the old, yeah. But with neglect, the hotel fell down. Right. And so then the railway company, which, by the way, probably had two or even three lives. Um, bankruptcy court uh, figured in there. Um, then took the path, skipping all that, and went through Tom Nevers to um, uh, uh. and that's the path that that we we know of now. Now, have you seen the maps, the old coffin maps that are now residing for the NHA at the Hadwin House? Coffins, you know, did that whole Surfside subdivision out there, and the hotel and all that. And there are maps that are quite no, interesting. No, I'm pretty sure. Upst I and they're up. They're now being stored at the Hadwin House. They used to be well before they sold their house on yeah. one of the three bricks. It used to be one of the bricks upstairs, and the attic was like a treasure trove of maps. So of old subdivisions and all sorts of stuff. So but, the land bank's plan. We would like to open up the path um, behind Gladlands Avenue there that would connect, so you could go from. The um, from Surfside Road all the way out to the beach. That'd be right great. now, you have to go to South Shore Road and Blueberry and to the beach. That way. Right. Now, that's only part of the track. Uh, the other parts of it, um, part of it goes through land bank property down at uh, the corner of um, where at the steamship authority on, on uh, right. And we've marked that. We have a sign there and you know, it tells us a little bit about the railroad and so on. The other piece in town that is missing goes behind the um, where the auto parts store used to be on, uh, what do they call that? Oh, Bayberry uh, Commons over there. Mm -hmm. Bayberry Commons down near Hatches. Yeah, you don't way down there. That's right behind. Uh, well, that's why Hatches is on the bias. It's not, it's not that. The railway was there, but the property lines were divided that way. That's correct. So they plunked hatches um, square to the property, but the property skewed. Yeah. Oh, it's a big wetland back there, and that's why the train did where, went where it went. So that stretch is still owned by the town. Um, and go well, right up through. Um, to uh, the intersection of Dave Street. Right. Okay. So that's another piece of that trail, mm -hmm. although it's not terribly accessible. Well, no, it is accessible. But um, the other part of the trail that goes um, again on land bank property behind no, sure. the um, no shop is it? No right. Shop, yeah. Right. Right. Uh, you can enter that. Property. If you go in where the park is, the playground, 
on uh, playground. On oh, Old South Road? Yeah. Old oh, South really? Road. Okay. If you take that trail in, go beyond the playground, that will pick up the old railroad. Back. But there's a berm back there. I yeah, it's a berm there. And okay. the, Alan, you're referring to um, the right, the, the railroad right away alongside of Hinsdale Road. Right. For Hinsdale yeah. Road, right. the maintenance way. Yes. Right. That's why it's on. So, exactly. Right. So again, the land bank is cleared on the property we own along the top of that berm. And it's really amazing when you walk down there and it's probably 30, 40 feet, I would imagine. Um, you know, so you're on this ridge going across it, pretty neat. Then it curved, it goes through um, now developed property. But once it crosses over Bunker Road, there is, you can see where the path went. It crosses over Bunker Road, and you can pretty much follow it all the way down to Sandsbury, um, which is over in Wisconsin, goes down on where it went Tom down. Nevers. Tom Nevers. Yeah, where it went down onto the beach. And in the spring, when it floods down there, you can actually see the railroad right of way. When it's flooded, it's it's above the uh, little higher. Oh, wow. Water. Oh, it's Sam, really, Sam Ray was a uh, director for one of the companies. Was he really? I didn't realize that. Huh. And foundation has is, is cleared That's some of that path. Foundation property. Right. And I spoke with this before Jim Montowski died. I spoke with Jim about opening the possibility of opening that up for a trail. And he wasn't um, <laughs> he wasn't enthusiastic about it at all. He said, you know, there, oh, we don't want parties. You know, drums in there, bonfires, and so that, that never happened. So we need signs like the Sconzy Bluff Path. <laughs> okay, it's really neat. I've walked most of it where you where it's you know where you can actually get there. Are places where you have to stop and turn around or go down and around to pick it up again. Yeah. So because of the multiple ownership, I think what I'm proposing is. A very simple um, sign and maybe a QR code, and then try and uh, persuade each of the owners to plant it uh, where it's accessible and see where we go from there. Oh. So, what do you think about um, the conservation those, owners in particular, you mean, right? Town, yeah, the Conservation Foundation and Bank. Right. So, uh, part of next month's uh, agenda, why don't we put the whole project list on? Um, because as it sits right now, I believe that some of the things we can either cross off as completed or update the status of uh, who we're waiting for, if it's a particular department we're waiting for. Um, at some point, it'd be nice if we can take off the um, the Westchester Street behind the hospital. The, the, uh, they're going to put in the bounds for us for the yes. extended pathway. Right. Um, and then also, um, hopefully, the DPW is uh, settled enough for its new uh, director. Do we have one? Well, I don't know. They got somebody that's being interviewed or not interviewed, introduced as the head of it, but it could be just a temporary thing. I think it's an interim, but I don't know. I think they're using Mo Moore. I think that's they're using Mo right now. Yeah. yeah. So I think he's being introduced as the head of the DPW, but I don't know if it's official. Um, and if it's, if that's still the case, then I'm, I don't think he would know. But the whole idea of uh, last we heard, they were going to look into ordering some bounds uh, or at least get it on a budget to order some. But, well, for, for which way? The missing ones were just as bounds themselves. Just the verticals. Yeah, we, we have some of the tall ones. We yeah. have some of the upright bounds. The little ones disappeared. Have. Six of them, I believe, we have, behind, and they're still behind two fairgrounds. So there may be a good idea to um, have the land bank, if, if they're going to put a couple in for us over uh, that they grab them while they're still grabbable and have them in their uh, guardianship. That's a good idea. Yeah. That, um, so, which, which, which way are you talking about? We're talking going in behind the um, uh, animal hospital. Westchester Extension? Animal hospital. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what Westchester had to do with hospitals. Hospital. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I, I'm, yeah. We, we all recount when that was dry enough to drive it. Yeah, yeah. I have done. Now. So, uh, now, don't try it now. It's definitely a foot fast. So, um, but anyway, it'd be nice. Now, that's been on the list for many years. Yeah, be... Right. Well, I've, I've talked on uh, the issue has been one of the property owners on. Um, Water Common? No, on Corner of the Lane. No, uh, um, Hemlock Meadow or. Hickory Meadow. Hickory Meadow. Hickory Meadow the, Lane. Right. Which is behind all that property that used to be on or right. to the Alma Hospital. And they subdivided it all. So one of those, the most, the last house that went in there, all of a sudden they had lawn all the way down across the back. You know, the, because it were, we know that that's a 1799 road. We know that there's a, that's a the flag. So the land bank has been in touch with um, the powers that be to straighten that out because they definitely encroached on it. They got their encroachment out. They did leave the grass and the planting and so on. So um, there, there are Fix your irrigation heads. <laughs> there are two public way signs. One is pretty far away. Right. It's beyond where those houses are. We put that in intentionally there for different reasons. And the other, on the other end of that, is you come in on um, off of Warner Comet Road, and that's the other side. That's where it comes out. That whole roadway, right? This is 1799 Road. So both of those existing public way monuments are. You don't come to them until nowadays when you're you go in both those. We're ways. trying to move it up would be it closer, was, basically. Was, Case of being very circumspect. If you're looking for the way and you wander up here, the sign will confirm you're in the right direction. Yeah. As opposed to antagonizing the neighbors by putting a sign right on you. Yeah. So um, is that okay? We'll um, review the yeah. update the list. Uh, just very quickly, I will not be here in June. Okay. In England. What is the date of the June meeting? Because on our plan, it does say May 16th by accident for our uh, next it's, meeting. Uh, it's uh, June 20th. June 20th. Okay. Okay. I will not be here either. Then we need Snooky for sure. I'll be on the other round. So if we do uh, ah. the hybrid and uh, get Snooky in here, then um, maybe. I may, I may be able to walk in. We may be able to get a quorum that way. Greetings, Peter. Um, Greetings, so um, we can do that. I'm not sure what physically I'll be doing on June 20th, but I may be able to come in by soon. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, knowing that in advance that we'll, we'll have to squeeze Nat to make sure he can uh, come in and get Snooky to come in too. Phil, do you have anything? I just, um, we're finished with our agenda pretty much. Yes, we are. Uh, just an FYI for everybody. Uh, the, uh, we had a meeting, I mean, several meetings of the Harbor Plan Update Committee. Uh -huh. And uh, we're meeting actually every two weeks. Okay. Wow. And um, Linda Williams is the chair. She uh, strong arms me and be the vice <laughs> chair. Uh, and, uh, Peter is the, the secretary. And um, so the, uh, the first public meeting, and I think would be of interest to you guys. The first public meeting is Monday, June 5th, between 6 and 8 p.m. Location to be determined. Um, it is uh, it may be at the Nantucket Hotel. We want it, essentially the format is gonna be, we've identified about eight categories of things that people might be interested in. We're going to be sending around a flyer, putting it in the AP and the current, uh, with listing the, the eight uh, uh, topics. If you have any interest or want to talk about it or any, any thoughts or whatever, inviting people to come. And um, so there would be a, a, a full meeting for everyone. And then we would have breakout sessions for these different topics so people could, you know, talk about what's on their mind. But uh, our meeting yesterday was quite lively because we got into the topics and um, 
the uh, we're, we're going to talk about the uh, the boring field you know why can't we increase the number of warrings who's saying we can't do it and why not you know how could we possibly that was you know, probably the most contentious right well we, that that was that was one of them <laughs> um the uh the other one that because i just saw in the um our, our second page here chapter 91 there's going to be a whole section a whole thing we we got talking about chapter 91 so much we said let's just make that a separate topic that, yeah that could take a you know and um the uh and, and essentially the idea is to uh in the meantime um some of the people on the committee are going to try to pull together all of the licenses that we know of wow uh that go uh from Holbert Avenue all the way around Grand Point and Bill, we've mentioned this before, but Jeff Carlson used to keep a physical um, photocopy of each of those in two great big blue street. And well, he's the he is sort of the point person on this. So, and, and Jeff is sort of the staff, he is kind of the staff person to the committee. So uh, all the Eastern work, all that work on Eastern Street, right. it's got to so, be um, chapter 91 so licenses everywhere. Uh, but I, I think that the, the, there was some discussion about the, the Commonwealth has certain rules about Chapter 91. It was floated an idea that maybe we might want to uh, add an amendment to make certain aspects of that more restrictive. So I, I, I would <laughs> greatly appreciate if the town of Nantucket would petition for delegation of authority for Chapter 91. Well, that was that's what, what we're talking about. So you might you know come to the meeting. Uh, I, I mean, it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, a, a lot of talking about um, the um, I'll get this into the health of the water and Monday, the, harbor, the whole harbor thing. What time did you say? It is Monday, June 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. Gotcha. And uh, we supposed to be determined and that's a hotel. So, what do you say? Sorry, where did you say it was going to be held? No, uh, we don't, we oh, don't oh, know yet. Oh, 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 what we're, we're working on it. I mean, we need some place. Uh, I mean, if we were to do it in the uh, where we have the select board meetings and stuff, there's no place where we could do breakouts. Break yeah. If we were to do it at the high school, you know, we, we would have we would be restricted as to where right. we could break up. So there's some way we want to do that. But uh, but then, of course, it's going to be interesting because there's going to be people that want to go to more than one breakout. Yeah, no. right. But it's but uh, I, I this is one of going to be several public sessions, so that if you can't come to this, you can come to the next one. But it's essentially trying to what we have is we have a an Excel spreadsheet that's Jeff printed out. Essentially, it's this long by this high, and it's about five pages on both sides with all of the sort of the blocks. Of each of the things that were we think had been accomplished, things that hadn't been done yet, about seventy five percent. The feeling is about seventy five percent of the things in the plan in two thousand and nine uh, are, are felt to be accomplished. Oh. But some of that stuff is not just we, you know, we did something, we're done. It's ongoing. In other words, it's not where you can just say we, we did it. It's actually an ongoing work in progress. Yeah. There's a, whole the, there's a whole element to that. The, the chair of the implementation committee at that time got crosswise with a member of the select board, and neither is here on island. Well, one of the things that has come out of this, this committee is that yeah. we are going to be um, very uh, intentional about the, uh, the follow up committee that's formed. And then it's like going to include a lot of the people that are on this committee, so it just doesn't you know, fall back. Yeah. And, 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 right. and uh, so that there will be more uh, focused follow up. And because I think there was follow up on 2009, and then it dropped off after a few years. Uh, I so, went down, I went down, uh, uh, down by where the breakers used to be, that, that construction that's going on there. And um, with the beaches, right? Yeah, the, where beach. all the big the new buildings are. Oh, and uh, I thought, oh man, I wonder what the heck is really going on there. And lo and behold, today on the electronic news, it came out about 
the On Island Club. And uh, I'll send it around if you're if you're interested. Well, wait, the On Island Club is not down on East. It's well, right. they, they alluded to that's what it was. No, the On Island Club is where uh, Peter Kaiser used to have his hotel. Oh, okay. So it's that that is a the mis, other, it's it, a mis, that, it's North Beach Street. Because I was trying to figure that out because it's North talked Beach about Street. The brand. The brands uh, where Peter and yeah. Theo Kaiser had their what do they call their uh, so, uh, yeah right so that makes more sense. In, but that's where they're in yeah that makes more sense because yeah. it just didn't seem so to is this the one where you can buy a piece of equity on the island yes that's it that's it exactly <laughs> yeah, that's it exactly right. similar to when they tried to it one well similar to the Nantucket Inn at one time yeah. when they did that it's it's a kind of yeah. Variation of sorts on that. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, do we have anything else? Just a, a, a mention of because I mean you're very involved with Madigan. Uh We are going to be working with Peter Morrison, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know when Rick. Oh, Rick is left. Uh, but anyhow, there's going to be an attempt to bring in all the community groups mm -hmm. from around the island. So that somebody says, well, who knows? You know what's going on in Madigan? So, is this uh, the Civic Association type of groups? But he's uh, an executive. Oh, well, he's, he's overseeing this whole thing. He's, he's he, one of the guys that oversees. He's an executive in the Shellfish Association. Right. Okay. Right. But he he is sort of, uh, I don't know what his position is, but he, you know, he's said that he's said or co president of the Civic. Right. And so he, he is kind of, we're, you know, he's one of the people. Right. We're so it's through the Civic. So it's through the Civic. So, so, so if you're, yeah. for example, if you're involved in the Civic Association in Madigan, Hopefully, sure. we'll be here in some that's, that, that's this good gentleman. So, sure. We could have it at the Admiralty Club. Thing. How many breakout rooms there? The yard. <laughs> that's the deal. But I, I, I think that, frankly, I think if everybody on this committee wanted to put it down on their calendar, uh, that you, mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, the minutes will certainly be out long before we. Okay, great. Lee, what did you call the uh, the petition for? What was the petition you were talking about? That's on deck, might perhaps the Commonwealth petition in the Commonwealth or petition for you called it. Oh, I didn't, the delegation of authority for de delegation uh, of authority enforcement of chapter ninety one. That's what delegation because of authority. The, uh, the, the 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 challenge that we all have is that record keeping is in Boston. Right, it's not online. They tell us exactly. on their website that you're more than welcome, but that when you read the small print, it's two hours on a Wednesday or something. It's ridiculous. Man. So Jack right. Carlson is the guy, but um, I think one of the things is education about Chapter 91. Another thing is going to be looking at Great Harbor and what were the uh, agreement, what was the agreement with Great Harbor at the time mm -hmm. they did it, and to review certain uh, things that they had agreed to. For example, I guess they had agreed to having a fuel here there. Uh, and one of our members is a, is a clerk, I think, you know, that the, they turned that into a bar. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things uh, that they travel with, you know, what's the, you know, what, some, of the some of the things that um, were hotly discussed at the time. Are now receded into the uh, and, and and that's going to be another thing for Monday night. Um, there we go. There won't be a short life of well, committee. Well, I would say that Linda Williams, who's been on many many committees for many years, said this was one of the best meetings she's been to in years. <laughs> she doesn't brook any interference. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, that being said, uh, if there's nothing else, we'll take a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Alan? Yeah. Second? Second or first? Okay, whatever. whatever. First and second, Lee and Alan. Um, all in favor by roll call. Ed? Aye. Bill? Aye. Alan? Aye. Lee? And Bill said aye. aye. All right. Thank you very much. And Bill, let me just uh, stop the recording. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to be doing hybrid now.